Here we have an equation to solve, an equation with fractions. Suggest that the very first thing you do in an equation with fractions is to get rid of the fractions. Divide by 3, opposite would be multiplying by 3. Divide by 6, the opposite would be multiplying by 6. Now we can combine these by multiplying by 6, because 6 is 2 times 3, it's got a times 3 in it. So I think our weapon against these fractions would be to multiply both sides, that's the whole of the left side, and the right hand side, by 6. So 6 lots of this, and 6 lots of this, still be equal because we've done the same to both sides. Now, both terms here get multiplied by 6. So we have 6 times 2x over 3 minus 6 times 5 over 6. And that equals 6 times 2x, 12x. Now, the top of a fraction, bottom of a fraction, if there's factors in common, we can cancel them out. 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 6 goes 2. We're left with 2 lots of 2x, that's 4x, divided by 1, which is just 4x. 6 into 6 is 1, 6 into 6 is 1. We've got 1 times 5 over 1, that's just 5. And that equals 12x. Let's subtract 4x from both sides. That'll disappear, leaving us with the negative 5. And 12x minus 4x is 8x. Let's write it the other way around. 8x is equal to negative 5. And to get rid of this 8, let's divide both sides by 8. These cancel. 8 and 8 equals 1. 8 and 8 equals 1. We've got 1x over 1. That's x equals negative 5 divided by 8, a negative number, and the number is 5 eighths. It's negative 5 eighths. So that's our solution to this original equation.